Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have the same problem as we had in the previous video. We're dropping a rock. After the rock has dropped a distance h, it has reached the velocity v. Then the question is, how much farther, let's call it small h, must the object fall before it reaches a velocity twice as fast, 2v? And in the previous video, we used a graphical method to do it, and it seemed quite easy. But now we're going to do it using the equation of kinematics. The question is, which of those three equations should we use? Well, since we don't know anything about the time, we may want to go for the third equation, which doesn't require time. We have the final velocity, which of course would be indicated here. The initial velocity, since we're dropping it, would be zero. The acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity, so we can go ahead and call that g. And then we have the delta y, that's the displacement. And of course, we do have a delta y here and a delta y there. So it looks like that's probably the right equation. So we're going to first apply it to the first part of the problem. The first drop, when we go distance h, we reach a velocity v. So we use that equation here. And we go v squared equals v initial squared plus 2g times delta y. And we can use everything positive again because we simply want the magnitudes. We don't care that it's a negative velocity, negative height. We can simply see how far did it go in a certain amount of time or how far, how, how far did it go when it reaches a certain velocity. So let's assume that the initial velocity is zero. So we can write that v squared. And of course, we're talking about this v right here. Nope. Let's go ahead and say that's this v right there is equal to 0 plus 2g times delta y, and the delta y in this case will be capital H, which means that uh, h here, h will be equal to v squared divided by 2g. Now let's apply that same equation again, but now for the distance h plus h here, and notice that now we go from 0 to 2v. So now we're going to do this again a second time, but now we reach a velocity of 2v, so we have v squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2g times delta y. And again, we'll keep everything positive. And the initial velocity, again, if we start from the very beginning again, and we make it all the way to this point, then we call that initial velocity 0. So v now, the final velocity here, and of course I'll put that between parentheses here because that's really two times the velocity that we had before. So in this case, we're going to write this as 2v quantity squared is equal to 0 plus 2g. And here, the delta y will be big H plus small h, h plus little h. And so here, what we get is we get 4v squared is equal to 2g times h plus little h. And then I think the best thing to do would be to separate those two. Let's, so let's say that this is equal to 2g times big H plus 2g times little h. And since I'm looking for little h, what I'm going to do here is the following. Uh, let's see here. So we go 2g times little h is equal to 4v squared minus 2g times big H. And dividing everything by 2g, I say that little h is equal to 4v squared divided by 2g and minus the 2g and the 2g's cancel, I simply get h. But then remember what h was equal to, h was equal to this. So I'm going to take this and substitute that for h. So we say small h is equal to 4v squared over 2g. And notice I'm going to write it like this, minus that quantity, which is v squared over 2g. And so therefore, that is going to be equal to 3 times v squared over 2g. And then again, I'm going to substitute back. I'm going to call this quantity here h again. So this is going to be 3 times h, which means that the little h is 3 times as much as the big h. In other words, you have to fall three times as far to go from v to 2v as you did how much you had to fall to go from 0 to v. And the answer, therefore, is to reach the velocity of 2v, you must drop an additional distance h. And the, this, the, the additional distance h is going to be three times the amount that you had to fall to reach v.
and that's how it's done.